You're watching Brainstorm Acres. We've had temperatures in the low 20s and the upper teens, and we have thrips. Yes, thrips in the middle of winter. everybody, it's Irene. I'm in the greenhouse and I just wanted to grab a quick picture of this. This is the choy sum that I harvested a couple of weeks ago, I think now. Completely ready to be harvested again. So I'm going to cut this today. We're going to have it as part of our dinner tonight. Probably grab this, maybe a pak choy. I've got green beans in the freezer from last summer. We're going to have us some stir fry for dinner. Now this is what it looked like after I harvested the the um, sprouts off of this choice sum. This is my little harvest. Now this pot has got like seven plants in it and my initial harvest I got one spike off of each plant. When I came back and harvested today, I got anywhere between three and five spikes off of each plant. It seems like every time you cut them back, they come back more. So, just like you would trim a plant to get it to be bushier, that seems to be exactly what happens with this guy. So, very excited about this. This is a heck of a lot more than seven. This is the bottom of a three gallon bucket, by the way. So, some of these things are pretty decent size. Lots and lots of things. Now, the one thing I did notice is that the thrips really like this stuff. So, uh, I'm mashing a few thrips while I'm in here. And I have to ha I have to put a new thrip uh, sticky trap over here. Because uh, they apparently really like this more than they like anything else in the area here. So, I'll be smushing thrips. Uh, if you don't know, see if I can see a thrip. Now that I smushed most of them. There's one right there. Is that a little bitty guy there? Hard to actually get it to focus. I don't think it will. There we go. That's a thrip. And they're bad for your plants. Smush. Um, if it were later in the spring, I would get some um, ladybugs. But it's too early for that. So I've been doing a little bit of manual control just by um, putting out sticky traps for them. Uh, it has not gotten bad enough that I need to spray yet And we'll see what happens anyway. Okay, so I've collected this now. I'm going to go get a bok choy uh, the other night we had chicken soup and I used uh, One bok choy that had already gone bolted a bit and uh, Two that hadn't so I'm thinking I'm gonna harvest a couple more. Gotta decide which ones. But I'll grab a couple of those and we're gonna have a stir fry. My uh, spinach that I cut the other day are coming back really nicely. I figure we'll have a, another spinach salad by the end of the week. Because these are really, these are sprouting like crazy. And I, uh, I did give everybody some fertilizer the other day because I was kind of concerned they might not have quite enough get up and go. <laughs> so they've got up and gone now now this is what the traps are that I was talking about these are just sticky traps they are blue because it turns out that thrips are attracted to the color blue and last year you might remember I used some blue painters tape covered it with olive oil and it did work I currently have a couple of those sticky traps up in here already this trap has probably been up for I've still got a piece of dirt on it but I don't want to touch it because this is sticky um, this has probably been up for more than a month and you can see it doesn't have thousands or anything on there it's also collected uh, a couple of little gnats that got in here we do not have screening on our greenhouse it's um, got a lot of open air to it I moved one of them over here the other day. This one, it was also gets captured a leaf hopper or two that wandered in. Anytime we get even vaguely warm weather, 
every kind of insect on the planet comes out again. If this was later in the spring, I would probably buy some ladybugs, but it's too cold right now. I was pleased with the initial job that the ladybugs did last year, but the first batch didn't actually work as well as some of the later batches that I bought locally, so gotta figure that one out. Anyway, I'm going to install these guys. Now when the traps come, they're flat like this, and this little tab up in the corner here, you pull it, and this is what you wind up with. And this is the inside right in here it's inside but here it's the outside and then you fold this with the sticky side out and tie it to something it's got a couple of holes in the top but that's all it takes to install these guys they also come in other colors yellow is commonly used for aphids and white flies the blue works great for thrips so i'm going to put some of these over near a couple of my plants now the sticky traps come with a twist a, a, a um, twist tie a long one so all I have to do is suspend them close to the plants. You kind of want them fairly close to the level of the plants, not in the plants though, because they'll get stuck. But now I can come along and I can brush this. And if there's any thrips in here, it's a pretty good chance it'll be attracted to that blue. Now, I don't see any thrips in here right now, but these are brassicas here. These are uh, kohlrabi. So they might be attractive to them. Let's see if I can see any on the back. Interesting. Not seeing on the back of the kohlrabi. They also like the pak choy to a certain extent. I can see a few on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is the new bed of choy sum. And I'm going to hang sticky trap on here. I have to figure out how to do this so I don't wind up with it stuck to the cover I'm using at night. I may want to change the cover. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to see if I have any row cover left. If I have a piece of row cover, might what I might do is just put a row cover on there and leave it on permanently. These are low tunnel hoops that I've had forever and ever. Stuck a couple of those in there. I've been using them just to hold the plastic that's over here in the corner at night because I've been covering these they have germinated and I decided that since the thrips seem to be particularly attracted to these choice some greens I am going to cover this whole thing with a piece of row cover to see if I can just plain keep them off and inside that row cover is going to be that thrip trap so we're, going, we're hoping for a double whammy here. Keep these guys safe. Lovely, the picture of loveliness, actually. <laughs> all I did was I wrapped this thing up as well as I could, tried to block all the holes, because this is an old piece of Agarbon row cover. So it does have a couple of tiny little holes in it. Uh, I'm using the clips that you use, binder clips. You can see one right here. Just like you use in your office. I pulled them off of Henry's hydroponic system over here. So I've got the thrip trap inside. I've got this wrapped up pretty tightly. Everything's folded neatly. I have one lot more layer kind of tossed on the top, more to keep it out of the way than anything else. But that means I don't have to worry about trying to cover this with plastic at night as much. It uh, That will help to hold in the heat a little bit, but not so much that it'll melt during the day. Over here, where the uh, choy sum plant is, because the ones over there under the row cover are baby choy sum, uh, on this one, where this individual pot of choy sum is, plus the pak choy, what I'm going to do is I left one of these tomato strings. There it is. It attaches to the purlins on the roof. And I left one of these here. I rolled up the other one and got them stashed away. I have to stand up on the table to do it, so that's why it hadn't happened earlier. And I'm going to put a thrip trap on the end of that so that it's right above these guys. Without spraying, that's about as good as I could do right now, and I'm gonna actively watch. We've had a couple of warmer days, like today, for instance, it was 90 degrees in here. So that tends to make the bugs a little bit more active. This is a perfect time to go around and shake everything up and see what we can do to control it. Okay, there we are. We are hung by our tomato support string. Whee, in the greenhouse, all the way up to the top. Hopefully, 
It won't get stuck to anything. It will attract those nasty thrips and they will get stuck to it. This will allow me to check that trap every day, just like these, and I can see, you know, if there's any new bugs on them. This one doesn't have any new bugs yet. So that's my plot. I have a couple more things to do. <laughs> then it's time to cook dinner. I hope this was helpful. You need to be paying attention for bugs too. Uh, you know, it's only February here, but this is a greenhouse. And greenhouses tend to attract all kinds of crummy stuff. The thrips are back. And this time we're paying attention and we're trying to head them off at the pass. I do intend once it's uh, warm enough to get some ladybugs. I got to read about ladybugs. I think it's going to be too cold for another month at least for me to get ladybugs in here. Once it's warm enough, I will get ladybugs in here because they're good for eating lots and lots of things. The hard part last time was they didn't stay around very long, even though we did everything they said. So I'm probably going to talk to the people who sold them to me and see if they have any more suggestions. And if you enjoy this kind of stuff, don't forget, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because there's going to be all kinds of excitement. Hopefully not too much of this kind of bug excitement, but if there is, we'll show you how we're going to handle it. Bye.